Hello plant fella, welcome back to your Vanisca El Floro, where we explore the rarest and most extraordinary plants in the world. Today we're diving into one of the tallest, most spectacular and least known botanical giants, Amorphophilus gigas. This incredible species holds the record for the tallest unbranched inflorescence in the world, sometimes surpassing even the famous Amorphophilus titanum in height. But why is this species so unique? What makes it stand out among other Amorphophilus species? And how does it survive in the wild? Stay with us as we unravel the fascinating secrets of this rare and gigantic plant. Amorphophilus gigas, as its name suggests, is a true botanical giant. It is native to Sumatra, Indonesia, and belongs to the Araceae family, a group of plants known for their unusual and often enormous inflorescences. While Amorphophilus titanum, the Titan Arum, is widely regarded as the largest unbranched inflorescence in terms of volume, Amorphophilus gigas often surpasses it in height, sometimes reaching an astounding 0.3 meters over 14 feet tall. Like other Amorphophilus species, Amorphophilus gigas grows from an underground tuber which can weigh several kilograms. This tuber acts as a nutrient storage organ, allowing the plant to survive long periods of dormancy before producing its gigantic leaf or inflorescence. Interestingly, the inflorescence can emerge before the leaf, making it a dramatic sight when it suddenly appears in the forest like a towering alien structure. One of the most intriguing aspects of Amorphophilus gigas is its infamous corpse-like odor. When in bloom, the plant emits a strong, pungent smell of decaying meat. But why would a plant evolve to smell so terrible? The answer lies in its unique pollination strategy. Unlike flowers that attract bees or butterflies, Amorphophilus gigas relies on carrion flies and beetles for pollination. To lure these insects, the spadix, the tall central structure, generates heat, mimicking the warmth of a decomposing carcass. This process, known as thermogenesis, helps spread the odor further, tricking flies into entering the bloom in search of food or a place to lay eggs. As they move around inside, they inadvertently transfer pollen, ensuring the continuation of the species. This method of pollination, called soproentomophily, is seen in only a few plant species and is a remarkable example of how nature has evolved to ensure reproductive success. Amorphophilus gigas is endemic to Sumatra, where it thrives in lowland tropical rainforests. These humid, nutrient-rich environments provide the perfect conditions for its massive growth. However, despite its incredible stature, this species is extremely rare and faces increasing threats due to deforestation and habitat loss. As more of Sumatra's forests are cleared for agriculture, palm oil plantations and logging, plants like Amorphophilus gigas struggle to survive. Unlike smaller plants that can adapt to changing conditions, this species depends on intact primary rainforests for its complex life cycle. This makes conservation efforts critical for its survival. Currently, botanical gardens and conservation groups are working to propagate and protect Amorphophilus gigas, but its slow growth and specialized habitat needs make it a challenge to cultivate outside of its native environment. Growing Amorphophilus gigas is no easy task. With its massive size and highly specific needs, this rare species is best suited for experienced collectors or botanical gardens. However, under the right conditions, successful cultivation is possible. To thrive, Amorphophilus gigas requires a deep planting space to accommodate its large tuber, along with well-draining, nutrient-rich soil that mimics the rainforest floor. High humidity and consistently warm temperatures are essential, as this plant does not tolerate cold conditions. Perhaps the biggest challenge of all is patience here. Gigas takes years to mature, and even longer before it blooms. Because of its rarity and difficulty in cultivation, we recommend starting with other Amorphophilus species that are easier to grow. If you're looking to expand your collection with exotic tubers and rare plants, 
Visit our website at uvaniscaelflora.id to explore our selection. Amorphophilus gigas is often mistaken for its famous relative, Amorphophilus titanum, but there are some key distinctions. While both produce enormous flowers, Amorphophilus gigas can grow even taller, with some specimens exceeding 14 feet. Its inflorescence is also more elongated and slender, whereas Amorphophilus titanum has a broader, more robust structure. Another major difference is flowering frequency. Although both take years to bloom, Amorphophilus gigas has been known to flower more often under ideal conditions. Despite their differences, both species are among the largest unbranched inflorescences in the world. But when it comes to height, Amorphophilus gigas takes the crown. And that's the incredible Amorphophilus gigas, the world's tallest unbranched inflorescence and one of the rarest botanical giants on Earth. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of nature's most extraordinary plants, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Uvanisca L. Flora for more rare plant content. Looking to grow your own rare Amorphophilus species? We offer a variety of Amorphophilus tubers, rare seeds and exotic plants for collectors and enthusiasts. Check out our website to explore our selection. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next rare plant adventure. Stay curious and keep exploring nature's wonders.